Hello, welcome to Otis Place. On this channel, we make videos on natural hair and a little bit of lifestyle. If that's something you're interested in, then this is the place for you. In today's video, I'll be moisturizing my hair. I'll be showing you how I moisturize my hair in detail. And I'll also be answering some of your questions that people have asked, telling you, you know, how I've been able to grow my hair from when I cut it till now, telling you how old my hair is and all that let's just get right into the video to moisturize my hair i'm using warm water you can see i'm using an empty body spray spray bottle i have many of these things around no need trashing them i just wash them thoroughly and use them as my spray bottles they do the job but if you want to buy a designated spray bottle you can go ahead what I do first is just spray my hair with warm water. It's warm water I'm using to spray the hair. It just helps lift up the cuticles and making my hair able to absorb whatever I'm going to apply to the hair. You guys know if you've been on this, if you if you've been on this channel for a while, you will know that I like to do my hair in sections. It's so much easier to moisturize in sections. In four sections is what I work with. If you want to do smaller sections, that's good. When I spray with the water in my hair, it just makes my hair so, so soft and manageable. You don't want to detangle your hair when it is dry because it's going to snap. It will lead to breakage. You may want to make sure you're being gentle during this process. Now, I've not applied any moisturizer to the hair. What I just did was spritz the hair with the water so that I could you know detangle properly before starting the whole moisturizing process this might take a little while but just be patient if you've been on this channel for a while you know i've told you several times that my hair curls up on itself you just detangle the hair now and before long it starts coiling up again so i'm quickly dividing the hair putting them in twists and now I'll start taking down the twists one by one to moisturize the hair properly. So let's go with the first question. I know people are going to ask, how old is your hair? Now to answer that question, I'm just going to tell you, I had my last relaxer in September 2018. My sister relaxed my hair for me at home. That was the very last time I had a relaxer in my hair. Thereafter, I transitioned for seven months and had my big chop in April of 2019. So I transitioned for about seven months. So I've been natural, completely natural since April of 2019. So April of 2023 will make it four years since I went natural completely. I hope that has answered your question and settled that area for you. This moisturizing process, I'm just going to use my argan oil leave-in treatment by Cantu. Guys, this thing works well. It works good. As I'm moisturizing, you can see I'm working it into my strands. I'm just like a little massage. As I'm moisturizing, I'm also detangling my hair in the process. Guys, <laughs> those days when I used to watch YouTube videos, I used to think YouTubers' heads no it's um, shed. Because very few people showed their shed hair. But now that I've been taking care of my hair and now that I've gone natural and all that, I just realized everybody's hair sheds. And that brings me to a point I want to address. Some people mistake shedding for breakage. I think I'm going to do a separate video on that. I think that deserves its own video to explain the whole process. So yeah, I've after moisturizing, I'm not sealing immediately. I like to moisturize the whole hair before I now go and start sealing the hair. So over the years, how have I been able to grow my hair? 
what I've been able to do is to have a consistent regimen. What went by consistent? It doesn't mean I have the same hair routine all through the year. Like now where I am, the weather is really, really dry and just sucks out all the moisture from your hair. So the way I treat my hair now is different from the way I treat my hair during the rainy season. Now when I'm detangling my hair, if I meet any knot, I take my time to detangle it to just don't yank it if i yank it i'm going to break the hair and you might say it's just one strand it's just two strands just a few strands but all these things build up you know it might be one strand today it might be five strands tomorrow and before you know you notice a considerable amount of breakage i've been able to grow my hair i've maintained a consistent hair routine over the years it's just last year that i kind of diverted and started experimenting with so many things yeah guys i always check my crown section to make sure there are no bald spots that to make sure i'm not losing hair and to make sure there's no you know damage to, to that area before i even went natural when i was relaxed i started using essential oils in my hair i started moisturizing my hair on a regular basis and sealing in that moisture I started deep conditioning my hair. So as I transitioned to natural hair, I continued that process. Although some of the products were different and some of, some of them were not, I still maintained some of the products I was using even while I was relaxed. And the products I used in my hair were regular products. I don't believe products have to be very expensive for your hair to grow for your hair to thrive you don't have to break the bank just because you're trying to grow natural hair if you can afford luxury hair products that's good very good for you i'm really happy for you but if you're like the rest of us who can't you know afford that on a regular basis guys whatever you have will be good for you i've used really cheap products i've used products that are you know quite expensive too and they all work if you have a regular consistent regimen and if you're not allergic to them so one thing i will really say has helped my hair is having essential oils adding essential oils to my regimen guys i use rosemary essential oil i use clove essential oil i use peppermint i use lavender i just mix them in my hair oil and use and the thing with these things that i don't use too much i don't use it on every step of my wash day to me i think that's overkill but if that's your thing fine essential oils have really helped me in growing my hair i'm not saying they are a magic potion no but they really help in growing your hair that's the honest truth i'm not going to tell you i used one special mix guys i've used rice water i use different ones and i noticed that these things help to some will grow your hair a bit some will strengthen your hair i'm a very big fan of diys and i'll continue to do make diys i also use store-bought products i'm not someone that says I, I, i'm strictly a diy person no i like mixing things around i like making concoctions in my kitchen for my hair and at the same time that sometimes i'm not in the mood for that i just use my regular store-bought products my results cannot be attributed to just one product one magic potion no it's everything together from washing properly using a good shampoo using a good conditioner uh, making sure i deep condition my hair making sure i do my protein treatments making sure i trim my hair all this together have helped me grow my hair i feel as if i've talked so much <laughs> guys if you're watching and you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel okay when you subscribe click on the bell so that whenever new videos are posted you will get them don't forget to give this video a thumbs up guys it helps my small channel grow it helps tell youtube that you're enjoying the content so back to it now i finished moisturizing i finished sealing i just want to put it in two sections Now, looking at this clip, I just realized my hair has grown a lot. <clears throat> I'm happy with the growth. At the end of the video, you see how much hair I lost during this whole process. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it has answered one or two questions that you had concerning my hair journey. 
thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next video the next video is going to be my full wash day so stay tuned put on post notifications so that you will get this when i post thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one bye